Hey peers, you guys, so much has happened between this Wednesday and last Wednesday. So let's jump right into it and get caught up. we talked about the breakdown of my building permit cost and how I got my building permit since then and now you guys I've been getting multiple quotes on things like windows you guys know I really really want black windows you guys I've been getting quotes when I say it's out of my budget <laughs> So, you know what, there's going to be another YouTube video specifically talking about the window budget and the quotes I've gotten. So stay tuned. Also, I've been shopping for kitchen cabinets. I will make another YouTube video on that series. For day to day um, of my journey, though, you guys, please follow me on my TikTok here or my Instagram here. Um, shameless plug, but honestly, I do post my day to day of my journey on there, um, on both of these platforms. So please follow me on those two. If you want to see my day to day, um, my YouTube, I will be posting weekly, but you know, things happen day to day. And I just want you guys to have access to that piece of the journey. So yeah. Um, also I've been getting quotes on my flooring. Um, I want a vinyl white oak type of look um so trying to find that within the budget allotted is really rough right now all the materials went up like you guys um but nonetheless march 15th tuesday which is yesterday you guys i had my first construction day with my contractor Woo! You guys, I don't know if this is wrong to do, but I literally am so, like so excited about this process. Like I want to be at the house every day just to sit back and observe what's going on, just to take in this journey, just to take in all the hard work to get to this renovation point. I just want to sit there and be in awe of the process. I don't know if they're feeling that too much because <laughs> it kind of comes off like micromanaging. I'm not saying nothing to them, but it's going to be there to watch. Like if I could have the lawn chair, sit on the grass, have my work laptop, and just sit there, work, then peek over, then peek over, then back to work, then repeat. <laughs> um, but I'm going to roll some clips. Um, yeah, so the first day, you guys, um, they did demo work mainly the first, the next week and a half is going to be demo work pretty much. Um, but you might be asking P you and your family in January did a weekend of demo. So what demo work could they possibly be doing? So as you see in this clip, um, he's getting out the nails out of the frame and actually removed some of that. Um, what is that called in the wall? I don't know what it's called, you guys, but that fluffy stuff right there, that that's what I'm talking about. Uh, he removed, they removed some of that. Um, so it's just like my family did the bulk, right? But now it's like the little things, like the getting the nose off the wall, um, some of the framing, as you see in this clip right here. Um, they took down more framing wood. Um, and then the big doozy that they went for here is they started taking out the chimney and the fireplace. So that was exciting to see. I was like trying to not be in the way so I couldn't like get much more footage but as I wanted but here is some behind the scenes you guys. So <laughs> we gotta take what we can get without me being in the way, okay? Um, 
So that's the thing. That's what they're starting on. I'm so like, guys, I'm, I'm beyond excited. Another thing that started on the first day was electrical work. Um, this was way over my budget, but I will have a separate video breaking down the electrical. Pretty much my budget was about 12,900 for re for some rewiring, not any panel change or anything like that. Um, but I found electric, I was referred an electrician that would be, um, down to rewire the whole house for 20,000. So, uh, the overage of, let's say it bounces out to 7,000, 7, right? Cause 12,900, let's make it 13,000, but the less than 7,000, I'm going to go half out of pocket. And then the other half is going to come out contingency, um, for my loan. So that's my play to do that, but I will make a whole video on electrical by itself. Guys, there's so many moving parts. I'm trying to like make sure I get you guys and everything. But one of the key things that I thought would be very important before we started on Tuesday was to sit down and get a construction schedule so that I'm very clear with my contractor um, what to expect, what things to be done at what time. Of course, everything has inspections, so those things that we can't control because we need a city inspector to come out and do those things. Um, but I wanted to make sure we had a clarity of like, I can expect this portion to be done. This is the flow of the house, right? So we're starting with the demo work and then we're going to go to framing, electrical and plumbing. Like what materials do I need to buy out of pocket to make sure that this flow keeps going, right? Because um, for example, uh, one thing that I was instructed, two things, three things, oh, two things, two areas I was instructed by. So my electric fireplace, I need to have that because in order to frame, they need the specifications of the fireplace um, and know how it kind of works to be able to frame that area and make sure it's properly, has proper electrical and things like that to it. And then for the bathroom, like the shower valve and things like that, so they can do the correct plumbing. So those are the two things, uh, two areas that I need to, I said I would come out of pocket for, so I need to make sure those are done. But I wanted to have this construction schedule so any other out-of-pocket expenses, I can plan and, and be have my money ready for it. So here is what that construction schedule looks like. You guys, you guys can see this is going to be a long road. We're projecting four months, so not until July. Um, I'm praying that it goes faster, um, but materials like windows are two months out, kitchen cabinets, which I have not ordered yet. Um, those are at 10 to 12 weeks. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, so I'm going to do my best to enjoy this process. I'm going to do my best because I probably won't be able to do one of these for a few years. So I'm just going to soak it all up, be present, and enjoy the ups and the downs, and just soak it all up. Again, follow my TikTok or my Instagram if you want to see this journey on a daily basis. Other than that, I will see you next Wednesday on here on YouTube.